straight, laser focus, and then you up, take a big step, and release, like so. Hi go! All right, your turn. Good morning. Welcome, welcome. Can I get you a cup of coffee? Let me get that for you. Coffee. Let me get mine. Let's go for a little walk. Every morning starts with coffee. Butter in the coffee. Uh, always gets my head in the right spot. Usually put on some like nice chill music. Just kind of zen my way into the day. I grew up in Orange County in California. A little town called Yorba Linda where we just got into trouble because there was not much to do. Me and my little clan were called the sewer rats when we were kids because we would uh, lift up sewer grates and crawl into them. And uh, we found a big mural of like all this spray paint and tag and, and, and we tagged up the walls. When I was a kid, which I think was just like country and pop stars of the 2000s. Mm, early, really young. I grew up around theater. My mom was a general manager of a theater company and I just like caught the bug at a young age. That, I mean, come on. I don't know where else you find this. Oregon's a good spot for lots of things, but I've been obsessed lately with going to this axe throwing place. You wanna go? Let's go. Allow me. Please buckle up. Safety first. I feel like soft, chill folk really lends itself nicely out here. Yes, I do, I do have one ritual that I've only recently become aware of, and it's when I'm chopping wood on the swing. I like release whatever I'm like holding on to on the swing, and uh, when I get like a successful chop, I like feel like I'm like releasing the whatever is pent up inside of me. I debated for a bit on whether to live in LA or Oregon, my family's out here and, you know, I can afford a shack in LA or, you know, something with like a nice view out in nature. I figured that was the vibe. Yeah. We've arrived. Let's throw some axes, eh? Welcome to Blue Ox. I'm gonna give you a quick little lesson on how to throw the blessed thing. First of all, you wanna line up firmly planted feet. Straight, laser focus, and then you up, take a big step, and release, like so. Hi, go! All right, your turn. <laughs> My skills are off today. You must be making me nervous. <laughs> What's something surprising about me? I think a lot of people think that I'm... That was close. See that? That was close. Um, I think a lot of people think that I'm kind of like cool and like because of the characters I've played on TV, but I'm a freaking goofball. Mm. Someone who's like firmly rooted in who they are. Someone that's like ambitious, has their own things going. Yeah, someone that just like owns who they are. Deal breakers, a nail biter. If you bite your nails, I'm sorry. There can only be one of us and that's me. I'm the nail biter. We all gotta have a little bit of both of those, you know? That's how we learn and grow. All right, trick shot, ready? Swoop! I didn't think I was gonna get that, but it looks cool, like, right away. Uh, which might be weird, but like, my friends and fam are so important to me. And if you can jive with us, 
then you're cool. We're gonna end on that note. Um, biggest strengths I bring to a relationship? I think I'm really like attentive, intuitive, and I like to take care of my person. I'm attentive. I think one that's just built on trust and loyalty and respect. It might sound a little cliche, but I asked a couple that has been together for 30 plus years what the secret is, and they said never losing respect for each other. I thought that was nice. The relationship that Nico has with his sister on the show is like really special, and I've got that in my life too. I've got a great sister. Um, yeah. Women rule the freaking world. They have the superpower to give birth. Not that there's birth giving on the show or anything, but they're magical, intelligent beings. And I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot from being on the show with them. Just thought there's another side of me creatively, I guess. Uh, I love to create, I love to make stuff. I like to draw and dance and I'm not just an actor. I like to do all kinds of creative stuff, you know? If there's a good titch of like personality in there, like if somehow you find a way to just sprinkle in who you are, which is, you know, not an easy task, but if you can find a way to just like show who you are in words and captions and photos, that's usually what catches my eye. It can't be the same as the first. It's gotta be a little different. And I think it has to be something that allows us to connect more one-on-one. -on -one. It's been a lot of fun. A wise woman once said to me, good things come to those who make the first move. Wanna get out of here?